Meanwhile, the Prime Minister says he's not opposed to having a fixed time within which a by-election is called. He also addressed concerns about perceived vote buying on the heels of government's announcement of the multi-million dollar road project earmarked for Junction St. Mary. Three seats remain vacant in the lower house, reducing the number on the opposition side to 28 to the government's 32 elected representatives. This gives the Andrew Holness-led administration more leeway to, among other things, pass crucial laws on its legislative agenda. Questions have been raised about the delay by the Prime Minister in calling by elections in Southwest St. Andrew, once held by Portia Simpson-Miller, South St. Andrew, where Dr. Omar Davies was the MP, and recently Southeast St. Mary, left vacant following the death of MP Dr. Winston Green. The delays have prompted calls for legislation to be passed for a set time within which to call a by-election. You know, we welcome all the, the, the suggestions that are being made about a fixed time for calling by-elections and uh, fixed election dates. It's something that we agree with and, uh, in fact, Within the framework of the fixed election date, we would have also addressed um, calling by elections um, within a, a specified period of time. The Prime Minister says the government is preparing legislation for a fixed election date. Drafting instructions have been given in that regard, and it's hoped that the bill will be tabled in Parliament by the end of the year. With by elections looming, though, there have been concerns as well about government spending in at least one constituency deemed a battleground seat. But the Prime Minister insists that road work on the Junction Main Road in Southeast St. Mary is not politically motivated. He maintains that the project was signed off from 2016. The cabinet decision is August 2016. It appeared in the, in the, in the budget. So anyone can check. That figure is there in the budget. It is a significant work, 600. Right, the, 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 the overall project is 600 million, roughly. But because it's such a big project and we're doing it out of our own limited funds, we're going to do it in two phases. So the first phase is this year for 167 million. Political ombudsman Donna Parchman Brown recently wrote to the Prime Minister questioning the timing of the road project. The Prime Minister's response to her concerns. I would say they are not valid, but there is a general concern about how public resources are spent, particularly closer to an election for partisan benefit. And we are always prepared to engage in a conversation, in a process to have oversight of that. In fact, that will be a part of our bipartisan talks. Janela Presius, TVJ News.